Welcome to this week's edition of the Wheels and Deals Community Spotlight, brought to you by Wheels and Deals of Pomeroy and the Meg's Independent Press. This is Carrie Rose, the Meg's Independent Press, here again with Wheels and Deals Community Spotlight. And this week I have with me Shelly Combs, who is director of the Meg's County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we also have tourism, chamber and tourism. And uh, we have a lot of things to be talking about because we do have a pretty active chamber. In, in full disclosure, uh, I'm also president so of the chamber this year, so I want to put that out there, make sure that, that you know, it's full disclosure. But even if I wasn't, uh, th we have a really busy board and we have a lot of things going on and there's really great things that are coming up with Makes County. So let's talk about What's going on? Our visitor's guide is out. Yes, yes, we finally just started passing those out and a little bit last week, and so we'll be delivering those um, if you put an ad in it, um, and our other businesses will be passing those out. Um, but this is a great thing that we work with the Daily Sentinel on, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and the chamber provides the content, which this year Carrie handled most of that and um, they sell the ads. So we worked together on that and it really turned out great this year and had a little bit of an issue getting dates of events because we just don't know <laughs> what to expect. But um, the content's great and we hope everybody enjoys those. And they're great, not just for our visitors, but for people who live here because you have the events. Mm -hmm. and There's all kinds of things, of things. Uh, some of our shops, uh, some of the things, I don't know if you realize, you know, that, that we have as much going on with our, of course, we have the coffee shop down here, but we also have uh, uh, just other things that are going on. The uh, farmer's market. The farmer's market. Uh, trade days will be starting up. We have great outdoor activities as far as the river goes, and it gives you all those places that you can, you can access the river. There's just all kinds of information in here. We also try to focus this year on community. So there's a lot about our community here. So it's not just for visitors. As Shelly said, it's really not just for visitors. It's, it's for anyone who lives in Meigs County. So. Yes. And I encourage you to check out one more thing in the visitor's guide is places to stay. Um, if you have family or friends that wanna come and stay in the county or planning on coming to Blues Bash in August, um, there's a whole list and you would be surprised. There's 34 places to stay that I could come up with. There could be more. Some of those are Airbnbs and some of them are local bed and breakfasts. But yeah, we actually have mm -hmm. a lot of places to stay, some really nice cabins. So that's something to share with your friends and family. And that's something a lot of people go, well, but there isn't a hotel here, but you know what? We don't really have to have one. When you have Airbnb and you have all the different things and, and there's plenty of places to stay here and we have some really lovely places. Some of them have amazing views. Uh, and, and of course, all of that always comes with Meigs County Hospitality. So you can't, you can't go wrong there. So we have that going on. What else do we have going on with the Chamber? Um, well, as most of you know, um, our spring dinner is typically would have been this month in March. Um, but we decided, um, the board decided in the Chamber to not have the dinner, but to still go forward with an online auction. We know how much everyone loves the auction. Um, each year our businesses are great to donate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we're still going to have an auction it's just going to be on Facebook so and and it's going to be a little bit different uh, local auctioneer Billy Goebel is going to be uh, handling that for us and he has a group and he has been doing that all through the pandemic because he couldn't have in-person auctions well how do you make money if you're an auctioneer and you can't have an in-person auction so he started utilizing Facebook to do that and he's going to handle that and actually it can be completely touchless. I mean, you can drive through his building and pick up your stuff and, and pay and not have to even uh, really interact with anybody if you don't want to. But if you do, you can. Uh, but it's gonna be a, a really great way for us to still have the fundraiser and that dinner makes the chamber possible because <laughs> that's yes. a big part of our fundraising and, and makes a lot of the things that we offer in our program possible. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And we promise we will get together for a fun, because we know that everybody loves the chamber events and how much fun we have. So we promise, hopefully in the near future, we'll get to have a dinner and all of us get together. We're, we're, we're hoping that we can, we can do the fall gala, yes, but, that would be but right now we're, we're, we're still seeing how things go. But uh, so 
we're having the, the online auction, but we're also doing something different this year because of what we always give out at the Right, the RIO scholarships. scholarships. So we always uh, give out a RIO Grand dorm scholarship to one student, um, one Meigs County student that's going to be attending RIO. And there's always great participation at the dinner because everybody, first of all, peer pressure, but <laughs> no, everybody wants to be a part. And, you know, we do a picture at the end, so everybody gets in the photo. And it's just a really nice thing that we get to do for a Meigs County student each year. Um, and we've had students share with us. Um, how their experience went and what it meant to them. Um, and that has been really cool to watch. So we still want to be able to give that to a student mm -hmm. and we're still doing that same fundraiser. We're, it's just gonna look a little bit different. Um, we're gonna have a kickoff to our auction. So the auction's April 26th through the 28th, but on the 24th, that Saturday before, we're gonna have a little kickoff and that's where we'll take donations for uh, the Rio Grand Scholarship and then we'll give you some hints and clues as to what some of the auction items mm -hmm. are. So. And, and that's going to be a, that's a unique event and it's going to be live. So <laughs> that should be interesting. <laughs> um, but, but it's going to be something that uh, it's, it's the ability to allow a Meigs County student that otherwise would not have that dorm experience and be able to, to, mm -hmm. to have that away from home experience to be able to have, um, to be able to be in the dorm at, at Rio Grande and to have that full experience. But that's going to be coming up, and of course the auction itself is going to be quite amazing. Uh, we always have great, great things, yes. lots of, lots of um, items that vary, and it's, it's always a lot of fun. So this year we'll just be doing it on Facebook. Sometimes there's been some real battles on, <laughs> on the silent auction items, but but it's, it's always interesting to, to, uh, to see what people donate and then, of course, to see how the bidding goes because sometimes it can get a little interesting. <laughs> yeah, so if you're watching this and you're someone who usually donates because we have lots of our awesome chamber members and businesses throughout the community donate, but if you would like to donate something, um, you can drop it off at the chamber office mm -hmm. or contact us and we welcome donations. I think people just like to get involved in that every mm -hmm. year. So and, and it is a lot of fun. Yes. It's always fun. Yes. What else we got going on? Well, we um, we haven't had a lunch and learn for a while, and so we wanted to get back on track with those after the crazy year that we've all had. And so we have a workshop series coming up, and we did a little uh, what's it called survey <laughs> with our members asking what kind of um, trainings that they would like to see. And so we are having a workshop series starting on May fourth. Um, and those will go every other week through June 8th. Um, and so that'll be, that'll be some really good um, information for our businesses and locals about how to, well, there's, there's gonna be a few different topics, but first of all, just the new normal, getting back to mm -hmm. business after the pandemic. Um, and then we'll go on from there. We'll talk about uh, sales funnel for your business, social media, and web design. So those are a few of the topics. And then we have some other trainings planned later in the year as well. So, And, and that's, it's going to give you the ability to, to with those, uh, to get you some, some base information and to connect with some people mm -hmm. that can help you out in those areas as well. It, it, those are always a lot of fun. And... I can't wait till we can make sure that we do all those in person and yes. and, and uh, we used to always have those at the wild horse and and those were always a uh, great time so looking forward to seeing those come back and it's great information i mean it's helping you build your business well and when we get to have them in person also you're getting to connect with other business Absolutely. owners and people in the community so so we miss that and we're looking forward to having that again soon too um, we have a few other topics, like I said, that we will cover that we had interest from our local businesses in learning more about. So those are topics that we will cover in the future, too. There's a lot that we have going on. It's, it's a, as far as working on bringing the Lunch and Learn back and, mm -hmm. and going forward with that. And education, I think, is going to become a, a key component coming up for the things that the Chamber offers. So. That should be interesting to see how that continues to develop and, and uh, you know, uh, let us know what you think about that as far as, as the feedback on what would you like to see, you know, what do you need. 
because that's there's always going to be more topics. <laughs> You're always yep. going to need more topics. So. Yeah. Yes. So we are excited <clears throat> to get back to that. And also coming up, we have our golf tournament, our annual golf tournament, um, and we are having that at Meg's Golf Course on May 27th. So that is coming up soon. So yeah, t this is April. So it's next month. Um, so if you have a team that you uh, want to enter, please get a hold of the chamber. We'll be posting our flyer on social media mm -hmm. and you'll see them posted everywhere. So um, just go ahead and get your team in on it because we can have, I think we can have 12 or 13 teams. So you'll want to hurry up Something and get like your spot that. because we have, it usually fills up pretty quickly. So and that's always a great event. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, makes golf course and, and their chamber member and, and being able to to have that here in Meigs County, that's that's going to be a good time. Yes, they are always wonderful, and that is on a Thursday, which is a little bit different. I don't, we haven't had a golf tournament on a Thursday for a while, but um, so yay, some people will get out of work potentially. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, our golf tournaments are always a lot of fun, and people really enjoy them. Um, we always do hole sponsors. Um, we have lots of. We usually put two on each hole, so. Yeah, it'll be a fun time. So if you're interested, get a hold of Shelly and, and, and let her know if you're interested in sponsoring or you're interested in participating. So there's a lot of things coming up. We've got yes. a lot of things going on with the Chamber. Um, <clears throat> somebody wants more information about the Chamber. How do they contact? Well, you can call us at 992-5005. Of course, you can check out our Facebook and message us on there. Or you can email me at director at megsohio.com. So there's lots of ways to get a hold of Shelly and to contact the chamber and there's a lot of things coming up. Keep your eyes open for what we have uh, coming up and uh, make sure that you look for and pick up a copy of this year's Experience Makes County 2021. Lots of good things in there. There's lots of pictures, local people, local things um, and there's a lot of information in there so check it out. And uh, we will see you again next week. And I think Shelly and I may be continuing this conversation next week. Okay. So, <laughs> so we will we'll have some more information on what's going on with the chamber. And uh, this is Carrie Rose again with Megs Independent Press with um, Community Spotlight sponsored by Wheels and Deals. Uh, make sure you let them know you appreciate their sponsorship, which makes Community Spotlight possible. And we'll see you again next week. See ya. This week's Community Spotlight is brought to you by Wheels and Deals of Pomeroy and the Meg's Independent Press.